Okay, just just to bear with me, I thought we were ready to dive into lesson one, but then I was like, ah, they should probably make sure their etch environment is configured the same way mine is configured so that they look the same, and then we can really, really, really get started. So what we're gonna do here, because etch is a modular interface, you can move things around according to your development preferences, which is fantastic. But if your etch doesn't look like my etch, that might be a little bit confusing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to make sure that our etch is set up the same way. Okay. Remember, you've got etch installed. You've got it licensed. Automatic CSS installed. Automatic CSS is licensed. If you click this button right here, okay, I'm going to zoom in right down here on the bottom of the screen to add a section. You may have already done this in a previous lesson. Okay. It's going to add a section. If you come down here, I'm going to zoom in again to this little heading element. You click the heading element and you say, let's get started. Maybe you already have that on your screen. The point is when you grab something like this, what you should see are two boxes down here. One is the HTML box, okay? The other one is the CSS box. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that. There's little handles next to each of these. You can move them. Look, I can drop it in the sidebar if I want. I can move this over to the sidebar if I want. This is totally modular. So what I would highly recommend you do, also there's hide show panels down here. You can open this up. I would, I would do this. I would make sure that the HTML editor is on, CSS editor is on. We don't need JavaScript right now, so leave that off. CSS quick at or turn it off. CSS quick actions is on, structure is on, element settings is on, component editor is on, style inputs is off, okay? So those are the, the first round of configuration. Make sure your CSS box is on the bottom. Make sure your HTML box is on the bottom. Make sure your HTML box is to the left. Make sure your CSS box is to the right. And then you have a structure panel right here, which can live on either side. I mean, it could live, it could live uh, down here as well, but you know, that's to me, that's kind of weird. I would put this on the right hand side at the top. And then this element settings panel right here, you're going to have that also on the right side below the structure panel. So this should be, if you want to mirror me and how I work and you want everything to be in the same place as you try to learn, this is the configuration you're going to want to go with. HTML bottom left, CSS bottom right, structure top right, element settings bottom right. The left sidebar is not being used. So what that gives us is more canvas real estate. Okay. See, there's a sidebar right there that we could be using, but we're not going to use it. Uh, that's going to give us more canvas real estate. And then this little thin little bar over here always just chills out on the left-hand side. This is the etch configuration that you're going to want to follow along with me and make sure that me and you look the same and we're on the same page, okay? Now we're really, really ready for lesson one, Sorry, all right? Siri's trying to talk to me. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'll see you in the next lesson.